All right, guys, I don't know if I got my wrong lens on because I was not planning on doing a pickup vlog, y'all, but I got my shoes from Finish Line. I'm about to return it, y'all. I just want to show y'all real quick before I return it. Look at that, bro. I can't buy this. And it did came from uh, Finish Line. So there is the bag down there. Like I said, bear with me, y'all, because I got my other lens on for my own feet. Because I was getting ready to go do my own feet. And I look, I'm like, man, I try to rub it off, but it won't come off. So hopefully they let me swap it out. It was good. Cause I man, these shoes are fire. These shoes are dope. But I came, no, not for two hundred dollars, bro. I can't do this. So if they don't want to swap them out, I'm just going to return them because I feel like these will restock. I can catch these on leftover day. So let's go see y'all. What's going on YouTube, man? Look, I got us. I gotta come to y'all today, man. Today is not a good day. Finish line done piss me off, and City Gear done piss me off, y'all. And um, this video is not to bash each and every City Gear and Finish Line. I'm specifically speaking on Wolf Chase Mall in Memphis, Tennessee. Okay? And um, I don't like doing videos like these because negativity, but I wanted to do this video, but this is the second time this happened with Finish Line. And for some reason, whenever it comes to like releases, bro, like on retros, these folks are tripping. And before this is no diss to nobody out there that I know or anything like this, but man, look, I don't know what's up with these stores employees, y'all. Because my thing is this: if a shoe don't, if a shoe don't, not even shoes, if, even though it's a shoe store, right? If a shoe don't sell, what do you think gonna happen to that store? let just not even shoot if you have a product and your product is not selling what do you think gonna happen to that store and who is buying these products customers treat your customers right okay so let's get to this let's get to why we're here today okay this morning here yeah, I see the video I'm gonna roll the clip and all that um, I bought the Jordan 3 I hit on a raffle the Jordan 3 um, race of blue or whatever and I usually check my shoes in the store but like man look they don't they act like they don't even like when you check your shoes in the first place so i'm like okay i just open the box lid right quick look at it cool one shoe look good hopefully both of them look good so bro i got home finna do my own feet i pick out the second pair of shoes they don't got a big old stain on it so i'm sitting in the car trying to rub the stain off right you know what I'm saying? it ain't coming off i said man even thought about keeping it because i don't want no trouble with these folks because i know what they're about but like, bro, this is two hundred and eight dollars, right? I'm not finna spend two hundred dollars on something that I really don't like, and I'm not gonna enjoy. I'm gonna be mad about it. That's a lot of money. So I said, okay, let me go back up here and see they're going, you know, uh, at least exchange the shoes out, or you know, if worst case, get my money back. So I walked in, right? Went up to the cash register. The same girl that sold me the shoes. I said, these shoes got a defect on it. What is that? I said, it got a stain on the shoe. I showed her the stain. I said, can I at least return these or? get an exchange she said she ain't said no this was her face she was sugar sugar head i said i said okay she was like you want to speak to a manager i said okay that's fine bring the manager then she brought another dude the dude wasn't even the manager so the dude came and said um they don't do returns on retros that's their that's their policy in that mall wolf chase mall that's just what they do they don't do they don't do returns on retros in that mall not all finish line but in that mall they don't do retros returns or whatever on release or whatever so i said huh so i got my receipt i'm looking at the back of the receipt this shit clearly said return and exchange policy and i'm reading it they said as long as you don't wear the shoe or nothing like that I, I ain't even put the shoe wrong yet so i said okay cool then i said well i can't return it then he gonna say resellers come in here and get the shoes then when they figure out the shoes not selling they're trying to bring it back i said bro i'm not even a damn reseller i never like that shit I just want to go do a review on these shoes. I like the shoe. I want the shoe. Can you at least exchange the shoe or something? He's going to say, well, no, nah, we can't do that either. Uh, I can try to go clean it off. I said, okay, cool. Go clean it off. He went to the back. He went to the back to go clean it off. Came back five, ten minutes later. Can't get it off. Okay, we're just going to return it. I said, cool. Appreciate it. So, and now, this is the same dude. Now, keep in mind, the same dude. Keep in mind, the female now, she out here, you know, doing my exchange process or whatever. And this is the next thing, y'all. Finish line employees, please stop pushing the damn number nine on the keypad when I'm finna pay. Because sometimes y'all ain't in the damn nine. 
If I could give y'all a negative 20, I would. Quit pushing number nine. I, I'm gonna call corporate about that too. Anyway, so while I'm in the process and I'm doing my return, it's transaction to get the little girl gonna push number nine. I'm like, why she even push number nine? This I wouldn't, I'm not even happy with this. I wouldn't recommend this finish line to nobody. So I'm seeing the dude that told me about reselling, talk about resellers come here and buy this and return it. He's over there talking to a reseller, bro. A reseller just walking into the store and he's out there talking to the dude. I said, if this ain't some hypocrite, bro, I've never, I just don't have good experience with that finish line, bro. And I only go to that finish line because it's the closest one to me. But I'm finna stop going to that finish line, okay? They, I don't, I put in for the raffle for those, um, them Jordan ones that's finna come out for them. And I don't even think I'm finna even, I'm gonna change my store, bro, because I'm not even finna go there no more. I'd rather drive further out to go get my shoe and have a good service because the finish line in Wolf Chase Mall got horrible customer service. There I said it. Now let's get to City Gear. Now, City Gear right up there above finish line. The same mall, Wolf Chase Mall, Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I walked in. Keep in mind it's 12:30. I walk in. Y'all know if y'all into the shoe stuff, y'all know City Gear, Hibbit Sports, whatever. They sell the shoe, the leftover pairs after 12, right? I walked in and um, you know saying checking um checking out the store, or whatever. I, mean, I don't see nobody in there. Like it's really empty. Ain't nobody really picking up nothing. It ain't on line out here because this is some Jordan 3. This, this exact is not hype. It's not going for nothing on the resale market. I like the shoe. I want the shoe to wear. Okay. So I asked the girl at the cash register. This is not the this is not the uh, the manager. I asked the girl at the cash register. I said, do y'all have any um leftover pairs of those um Jordan 3s? They're raffled. I said, damn, attitude. Okay. I just I said I ain't said nothing. I said, okay, uh, I said, okay, fine. I said. Uh, are you, when are y'all gonna miss, are y'all, no, I said, are y'all selling the leftover pairs? We don't, we not. I said, okay, thank you. Turn around, started walking out. She goes, what size you need? Cause I guess the manager, the manager was over there in the cut to the back, like to the door. That way, you know, where you go get the shoes from and bring it out. She was right there. I guess she said something in the, in the head piece cause the manager probably heard I asked for the shoe. And I said, um, I wanted a nine, but I'm good. I'm straight. And I was like, yeah, we got a nine. And then the manager started to walk to the back for the shoes. And then the girl said, yeah, we got it. I said, no, I'm straight. I don't want it. I'll go somewhere else and get it. Because that attitude you just had with me, you just made you just lost a customer. <laughs> and I said, bro, like, why is it so hard to have a good, positive attitude, bro, to people that spend their money with y'all? I know it ain't, I know you don't own city gear and all that, but if we were, if, if customers wasn't coming in spending money, there would not be a store. I'm saying just treat people right it's customer service like i'm the most nicest person there is bro and it's crazy because i was bro when i'm out of town and i go shoot sneaker shopping they are so nice when i was in dallas and i bought my lucky green 13s it was so nice atlanta i bought my my um my white oreos that was so nice <laughs> but in memphis yo but anyway man that's my little rant and all I'm saying is y'all just treat people right, bro, in these stores, okay? Not everybody's a reseller. Not everybody got a bad attitude when they walk in, like, come on. And city and uh, not city get finish line, and manager dude already don't like me because of the previous situation. I ain't told y'all about that too. About um with the fire rail fours. Um he gonna say no, nah, I said that for another day. I said that for another day. But yeah. So but that being said, y'all, I don't have an on feet and I don't have a review of these shoes. I don't even want the shoes anymore because of just that bad experience, bro. Like, they just ruined it all for me. I love the shoe. I pulled it out of the box. I'm like, damn, it's nice. Like, it's a nice shoe to have. But I just look at it, yo. I just saved $208 and I'm on to the next shoe. So, if anybody at Finish Line and City Girl watching this, I don't even care. Because I probably won't even go back into that mall anymore <laughs> to buy nothing from y'all. But shout out to everybody in, in, in Finish Line that I rock with. I rock with y'all, bro. So I appreciate each and every one of y'all for tuning into today's video. Um, I apologize There's for the negativity. <laughs> and there's no on feet in review. But um, I don't know. I might get them shoes later on. I don't know. So stay tuned, y'all, for next video. Um, if it's your first time here, man, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And comment down below and tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. And we out. Peace.